Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part of the Match the Tutorial series. Today we're going to go ahead and finish up some of our matching logic. Um, currently when you swap two gems that do not have a match, they remain swapped and we want to correct this behavior so that they will swap back. So go ahead and open up your board script. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to set a flag if the swap does not trigger a match and so we're going to go ahead and name this flag swap back and set it to false. Um, this flag is going to be checked before we check our match because if the swap back flag is true then we know we're swapping back during this part of the uh, update otherwise we just want to set it to false. So when we when we swap back, we also want to toggle our selectors here. So we can toggle our selectors there instead. And we want to add some more stuff to our check to match our check match function. Um, namely, if uh, is matched, which it would be created or which would be true if there is a match in one of these two lists, then we want to say that or if it's not matched then we want to say that there is no match and so we want to swap back swap back is true um, there's one more thing that we need to do as well uh, we need to go ahead and make another function and call it reset gems and we're going to call reset gems from this part here and reset gems is going to look a lot like this part, so copy this and paste it in here. Now the starting and ending positions of the gems are slightly different than uh, what it would seem because the gems have already swapped. So our starting position is still uh, gem 1, gem 1 and our ending position is gem 2 and this one should be gem 2 and gem 1 we do not need that line and if we save this and run it, it should work so pick something that does not match and now they swap back. Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to check our board and see if it contains any matches. So if we're if we do not have a match on the board, we want to be able to clear it and pull in a fresh board that we can then play on. So we're going to go ahead and create a function and if it or does board contain matches and if the board does not contain matches then what we want to go ahead and do is loop through all of our gems and say that sub i dot is matched and then we also want to say is matched it's true and then this part will then go ahead and clear our board for us by use of this piece up here so we need to create this function and it's a little complicated the way we have to do it is we need to pretend that we swapped a gem, check to see if it was a match, and then do that for all neighbors for each gem. So we're going to go ahead and create a function. Uh, does board contain matches? And it's going to be a bool. Public bool. Does, does board contain matches?